This is the fifth in a series of videos explaining why ClickHouse is fast. In this video, we'll learn how ClickHouse compresses data, which I think is one of its underrated features. ClickHouse stores data in columns, like in this table that has columns A, B, and C. And by default, it applies a general compression algorithm to the data. It's LZ4 on the open source ClickHouse and ZSTD if you're using ClickHouse Cloud. This means that the data on disk takes up much less space than it would if the raw data was stored. And it's important to remember that ClickHouse applies compression on a per column basis. This means that we can apply different compression algorithms to different columns. As well as these general compression algorithms, ClickHouse also supports a wide range of specialized algorithms. So Delta, Double Delta, GCD, Gorilla, and more. The specialized algorithms are best used when you know that the data in a column has a particular shape. A common use case for ClickHouse is observability, where data is captured at regular intervals. Each row will have a timestamp column, which would be date 32 if we're using one second granularity. So each entry takes up 32 bits, but there's a predictability to the data that means we can effectively compress it with the delta algorithm. The delta algorithm stores the first value in full, and then after that it stores the diff between values, which will take up way less space. We could then apply a general algorithm like LZ4 after the delta algorithm. This is called codec chaining, and we can have as many algorithms in that chain as we like. We can also apply an encryption codec at the end for sensitive data. So why does this help make ClickHouse fast? As well as reducing storage space, data compression also improves query performance as local disks and network IO are often constrained by low throughput. And by transferring less data, ClickHouse can process queries more efficiently and reduce the time needed to read and transmit data between storage and memory.